almost nobody has been able to get corals to spawn synchronously in a large aquarium setting. And that's what we're doing here at the Cal Academy with this coral spawning lab. And it's something we didn't used to be able to do in the lab and on dry land, you can only go in the water to see this. So it's really gonna be revolutionary to have an opportunity to do research on coral spawning in this sort of laboratory setting. So we're very good at Cal Academy in terms of keeping corals healthy, but keeping them healthy enough to actually reproduce is a different level of complexity. They're very finicky animals and they like very specific conditions out in the ocean in terms of temperature, in terms of light, in terms of feeding and flow. So we had to build a dark room and then build a system that goes in the dark room and then build controls that control the lights and the water temperature and the moonlighting. They typically spawn in the summer months, around the full or new moon. On the same night, all the corals of one species release their eggs and sperm in the water and they, they all float to the surface and then they mix and it's a way of corals to meet other corals because they're stuck on the bottom. And that's all really challenging to recreate in the laboratory. We always care that our animals are collected responsibly and that it's sustainable and that we care for them right. We just got back from Palau where we were collecting the corals that then went into the coral spawning lab. And now my role is to make sure they're healthy and happy and everything works perfectly and that hopefully we get a spawn. We've never really been able to keep them alive in a lab long enough to complete the life cycle, have them actually reproduce, settle, grow up into new corals, and then do that time and time again. So this will be a real breakthrough for maintaining species that are especially at threat, endangered species that might be disappearing from the field. If we can actually keep them alive in the lab and have them spawn, all of a sudden we've created an avenue of recovering these populations that are threatened from climate change and habitat loss. 